Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about incompetent seniors. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, would you let go of an incompetent senior engineer who regularly asks for guidance with their tasks even though you know they're trying their best to improve? Yes, I would. Um, let me explain that a little bit. Uh, so it's not the first time I've had this. It's probably not going to be this last time. Uh, when I, when you hire someone, guys, you can only learn so much about their performance in a interview. It's what I tell companies where you should always, always, always make sure that you have an evaluation period with every new developer. Always no exceptions even if they did amazingly in the interview the reason being very simply that in an interview you can at best get a good gut feeling for somebody but you haven't seen them work in a realistic environment yet which is where the stakes are. like that's where the stakes are and so I've done this before guys even though I've done at this point hundreds of interviews with different people I have hired people who in the interview sounded really knowledgeable like they knew their stuff like I asked them all the questions the code test looked good and they knew all their tools and all of this sort of stuff right and then I put them into an environment where they're gonna work with some people and they choke completely they can basically not produce I have worked with guys who have like you know where we're talking about something that would take me maybe maybe a week to do takes them six months and I'm not joking and such a person uh, it doesn't really because that's the thing that people seem to forget guys like companies and like and so forth it's about being able to deliver on some type of goal or some type of results so I'm usually more forgiving than most other uh, at least what from my perspective at the very least because most people will like I've worked with uh, seniors quote unquote seniors like that where you know people have been telling me Frederick why is this person here why are we not firing them etc etc and I say it's very simple because I have to weigh the cost uh, of their salary and what the output is against the cost of finding somebody else and so when I've worked with seniors like that, a specific one have, have you know confided in me many times that he feel you know he feels like he's being blamed because he's slow, etc., etc. And I go, well, you don't really have to worry about that part with me because I don't look at the label seni senior. I look at your results, and based on your results, I can say that uh, if we if we uh, consider the output if like we're looking at your label yeah your output is very low in comparison to the label of senior but to me that's not a question of that you have like tricked anybody or like that there is some type of nefarious thing going on here because it's like how, how can you possibly be responsible for that the expectations of the company are not being met you can only do as best as you can and if the company is unhappy with your performance mm -hmm. then they have to say so so when I have a, such a person in my team and I've told them this as well you don't have to worry that I'm going to like I don't know start bel belittling you because you're slow or things like that because I always try to work with the people that I have the thing that you should be worrying about is that the salary or like the the, the, the cost uh, of your salary or and, and so forth versus the output stat is disproportionate where I've said this before to managers who's been asking me about you know performance and things like that and I've told them that yet yeah, this person is not at the level that you're paying them for just so you know and then I leave it to the company to say well are they like how do you want to deal with this situation because the thing is just as with a hiring a junior or whatever if I'm leading the team it is my responsibility to make sure that regardless of skill level the quality of the work is still good as I like to say I try to design a process around a gateway system or a process around the development 
that is happening within a team so that no matter if it's a really highly skilled person like a super talented individual regardless of if it's a junior or a senior or someone who's not really all that good the end result will still be good and the only difference between the highly skilled person and this like the slower person is the speed like the speed should be the only thing that matters and so I tell it's to me it's sort of like asking someone what if you're gonna sell somebody a car and they come to you and you tell them what type of car do you want and they say yeah I need something that moves really really fast and I go okay what does that mean to you and then when you really get down to it it might turn out that what they need is just like this average automobile that just gets them from point A to point B in like a you know reasonable amount of time and so I present the same options to managers and like to stakeholders and so forth and I just ask them this person is roughly at this skill level do you feel that the salary is stands in proportion to the output so when a manager gets that like proposition from me I usually they usually come to me because they want to evaluate if they did it made a good hire or not and I say if you pay this person a senior level salary you're not getting your money's worth but they are for example able to work independently like it's not like it, the, there's always a nuance to things if I have someone who needs guidance all the time I basically tell them that you're paying this person a senior level wage but the performance it does at the junior level so that basically means that they need assistance on a fairly regular basis which means that basically they're taking time from other people uh, so there's like a double cost there some seniors are like not all that good and have a lot of issues getting things out into production but that they're autonomous for example which would mean that they're not costing time from the team so these nuances I try to communicate to managers or stakeholders who are actually paying the salaries and so forth and I let them make the decision because the only thing that matters to me is can this individual within the time frame we have even if they are slower than every single other person in the entire team will they be able to get to the finish line by the time we need as long as I feel that yeah they're probably going to be able to do that even though I, it's at you know some other person would probably be able to do it a hundred times quicker then it doesn't really matter to me whether or not you know they need help all the time or things like that because to me that's part of being like it's uh, how do I put this it would it doesn't matter to me if you need help whether or not whether you're a senior or if you're a junior because you are a co-worker of mine you need my help I will try to help you and I don't judge you because you don't know or you don't understand things certainly I mean I on a bad day I can get frustrated if I feel like I've shown you the same thing a hundred times but I won't belittle you just because you have the title senior and you're not meeting my expectations on that title so what I want you to take away from this is that uh, I would absolutely let go of a incompetent senior or someone who can't really do the job. Uh, usually it depends on a mismatch in salary versus output and so forth. Uh, I don't really have to do much because basically the thing that I look at is the overall performance and then I give a, a as fair of a description of somebody's performance to managers and so forth and so if I have a senior that is really really slow I don't tell people go and fire that person or like so forth and so forth the only time I go that far is if someone is actively hurting the team and asking for help and guidance just takes time but it's not hurting the team per se having a really bad attitude or things like that that's a whole different ballgame or even worse having a develop having a software developer who is really bad at what they do. I'm not talking about that they can't code. I'm saying that their decisions and the way that they behave in the in the team is disrupting the flow or causing problems for the system. In other words, we create shitty systems due to the fact that they are here. Uh, regardless of if that means that they are making bad decisions or if they're writing legacy code. But when it comes to uh, to uh, specifically when do you let go of someone and when don't you let go of someone it really comes down to a cost-benefit analysis I've had many times where I've worked with people who've been paid a senior level salary yet I need to help them as if they were juniors basically and sure 
I can feel how I feel about that situation. But at the end of the day, it's the manager's decision if they want to overpay somebody. Because trust me, guys, there are people who are making, who are basically incompetent and are making tons and tons of money because you know they don't get an, a proper evaluation. So that's what I try to provide to my employers. I try to tell them that based on my experience, you're paying a, a senior level salary to this person, but their overall output is that of a junior, basically. And if they want to keep that person around because it's difficult to find someone or so forth and so forth I'm fine with that because this is my co-worker and I still treat them as any t like to me it's just okay you're overpaying this person it's a junior like I hope that that makes sense to you just because they don't match your idea of what a senior should look like you shouldn't treat them poorly you should simply treat them as another person who needs your help and if you are you know a good leader of teams or tech leader or something like that you will treat them just as any junior they need help so give them the help that they need and then allow the company or like the managers and so forth to devaluate if it's better to just get somebody else and be crystal clear about that that you would expect them to perform at a higher level due to the there's a salary mismatch here for or role mismatch but if the company is happy with that then treat them well because they're not really doing anything out of being, they're not being nefarious, they're just being who they are. Have a great day.